so so typically Indians are not at risk for skin cancer yeah, exactly. because your skin pigment is a good natural sunscreen. But if you use the app, the dminder.info for, for normal people, it really will help you tell you how much sunlight you should have. It's from 10 a.m. until 3 p.m. You don't make any vitamin D before 10 a.m. and none after 3 p.m. Even in Mumbai or here in Chennai or anywhere else, basically in India. Yeah. And um, I think it's important for people to take also vitamin D. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Because you can't always guarantee getting enough sunlight. Because <laughs> most people work between 10 a.m. and 3 p.m. Exactly, exactly. But you, of course, playing outside is not a problem. Yeah. yeah. Um, so I don't think I'd be overly concerned. Yeah. But if you are at all concerned, you can always wear sunscreen. Yeah. So is there any other way to get rid of the sunlight, which is coming directly from the ozone? Right. Yeah. So because we are getting used to sunlight, what we say, it's not that uh, dangerous comparing right. to countries like Canada right. or Australia. Right. But um, what are we supposed to do when we are getting exposed to the sun right. in countries like Australia or Canada? Right. So, I mean, what, even in Australia now, 40% of Australians are vitamin D deficient. So they now recommend for Australians to go out for lunch for 10 or 15 minutes mm. to get sun exposure. So between 10 a.m. to 3 p.m.? Yep. Well, actually for lunch. So lunch is around noon time. Yeah. yeah. So they're now exactly. making those kind of recommendations. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, and so if you're very fair skin like me, mm. then you have to put a sun protection on. Yeah. Otherwise, you'll definitely get skin cancer. Yeah. yeah. So does the color of the skin yes. has some kind of advantage? Yes. yes. Which can Most definitely. Yes. Because you have a natural sunscreen. <laughs> you have a sun protection factor probably about 10. Yeah. So you could be outside 10 times longer than me yeah. and not get a sunburn. So yeah. you mean to say African has more yes. advantage than the Asians? Yes. That's, that's phenomenal. Thing. Yep. yep. And so Asians, for example, uh, Maasai yeah. herders, right? So the African... Uh, herders that are outside all the time, they have very, very, very dark skin. Yes. But yet, they have blood levels of vitamin D of 40 to 60 because they're making some vitamin D all the time. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So as for the researches which you did in the past, did you find anything that we have which is extra bit, which is not there in Americans or else in the Europeans? Right. So, no, for an example, uh, everybody's the same. Yeah. Yep. Because as a sports person, I came across with the uh, rumor of black one, uh, grape wine, stating that uh, Asians have, or particularly Indians have, a bit of smaller heart, or maybe a bit of, you know, the pumping of the I heart. Think that's right. Yes. It's uh -huh. quite a bit slower comparing yep. with the other other. Might ones. be. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So know. this. Uh, slight difference between uh, the you know the bodies of yep. each and every yep. ethnics. Yep. So is that a true or else There's it's a myth? There's no evidence it's just a myth. for vitamin D and vitamin D production because we did a study yeah. in Indian Asians yeah. and showed that if they're exposed to sunlight, they make vitamin D to the same extent, yeah. but they have to be out longer because of the dark skin. Yes, exactly. Yeah. So, um, coming back to the point, because yep. currently... I'm going to have to leave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have to yes. get dressed for my... Yes, 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 yes. That's please, fantastic. Please. I'll That's take okay. a picture. Ask one more question. One more question. Yeah. One final question. Because right now I'm into marathon running. So, I've skipped cricket for last... Uh, since last three years. Yep. So, I'm into marathon running. So, is there any best way to improvise the performance with the sunlight uh, through the vitamin D? Is there any performance-based improvement which I can make? Right. Yes. So, th there are studies that have been done in sports medicine in Perfect. Dubai because they're yes. very interested in soccer. Yes. Mm. And they showed that soccer players were vitamin D deficient. And so, they encouraged them to get some sunlight yes. and also to take vitamin D. And we recommend all adults yes. should take at least 2,000 units of vitamin D a day. Right. I mean, for you, it's not necessary because if you're outside all the time, yeah. but for him, probably yes. Because 10 or 15 or 20 minutes or 30 minutes may or may not, because if you have pollution right, right in the atmosphere, 
it'll still prevent you from making vitamin D, even though it's very sunny outside. Yeah. Yeah. So you can't predict. And that's why the app, the dminder.info app, can help. Yes. Thank you. Thank okay. you very much for your...